Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Monday the 4th of March 2024, evening time already here in Bangkok, the day has gone. Uh, I've been very active with various things and uh, I, I'm a man of my word, I said I would try to come back and play a game in the evening if I could and well here I am. So I'm going to play the New York Times hard level game. Uh, what's going on in the world? I see France... Uh, congratulations to France, almost, we're almost uh, we're about to congratulate them uh, as they are about to enshrine the, a woman's right to have an abortion into its constitution. Uh, this seems to be a necessary thing considering what's going on when we consider the antics of the theocratic uh, lunatics that have control over many states in the US. Uh, it seems like uh, this kind of right needs to be protected, uh, otherwise you'll be forcing women to give birth whether they want to or not so uh, well done France although still not quite there yet a little bit more to go but just you know just the last bits and uh, we can congratulate them okay shall we get on with the game of Sudoku I can see one thing only so far I see the three blocking across there and the three blocking up there and that is going to give us a three there and that's it I haven't got anything else yet <clears throat> No, really haven't. So let's see uh, if we can go through bit by bit and try and find something like this. quite a lot of pairs around but I can't seem to place anything definite I'll give it a quick look and then I shall move to uh, pencil marks but I will have a quick look first at what I think areas that I think might contain something ah here we go two and three here two and three there so two and three blocking down here so we do have two and three in those squares. I don't know if that means anything, but that's two. No, no, there's not much up here, is there, really? That's two and three. Um, so ones are over here. Ones will be up there. Ones can be anywhere there. Uh, six. No. Seven. Six, eight, nine, seven, nine. Hmm. <clears throat> 
Well, this looks like it's going to be too much effort to play notation free. I don't think I can expend that much energy on it. So I shall put in some useful pencil marks, I think. OK, so let's see what we've got. There's plenty of useful pencil marks around. We've got eights in those squares. We've got sevens up here and we've got sevens there. <clears throat> uh, so I said this was two and three, right? And we've got ones blocking down here, so one is in one of those squares there, and it gives us one up there. Uh, what else do we know about one? Not sure. Twos can be. Well, in these two squares along here. Don't know. Threes are there. Fours are there and here. Somewhere there. Pair of fives there. Pair of fives there. <clears throat> I hope the voice is going to hold out. Sixes can go like this. Ah, there we go. A pair of five and six there. That's it. That's what we and yeah, I knew there were pairs around. I actually think I saw that before, but I didn't realize there was an intersecting thing here. So it means we can get rid of that three immediately and we can place our three there. And since we've got five and six here, we know that these squares contain one, two and nine. So the nine blocking down will give us nine here or here. And we can't have that nine blocking there and there. So that's our nine, <coughs> excuse me, and we'll have one and two in these squares here. Okay, so now we've got nine across here and across there. We can place a nine there. Nine blocks up here and across there. So we have a pair of nines in those squares, which gives us nines here. Nines are somewhere in the middle there. Seven. 
seven blocks this square and seven blocks this square so in this row there's our seven and now we can see this is one or two this has to be one or two can't be two there so that's going to be one that's going to be two that's going to be one that's going to be one and that can be removed <coughs> two blocks this square down here so this must be two excuse me and this would be our three uh, three blocks across here that gives a three there and a three there and a three there and a nine there okay and let's get rid of that three shall we and that one Oh, three is actually complete. We've finished three already. Let's start. Oh, let's see what goes in here. Two, five, eight. Uh, okay, so this can't be eight. That must be eight. Oops, wrong mode selected. Eight goes here. That can be removed. The missing digits here and here are six and seven. We got seven across there. There's our seven. This will be a six. This can't be six now up there. This must be five. This would be six. Six now could be in one of those two squares there. nine blocking like this we definitely have a pair of nines where we have a pair of sixes so that means that that one is no longer true one must be in this square here and that gives us five here and four there so now this is a pair of eight and four here and the missing digit here is going to be seven uh, seven now possible in those squares there in fact what's the other number one isn't it so this is 1 and 7 in this, these two squares. Still can't get that yet though. <coughs> uh, but our 1 blocking across here does mean that 1 is one of those two squares. And, ah, there we go. 1 is where the 7s are, so that's 1 and 7. So this must be our 8 now. And this can't be 8 anymore. And that's a pair of 6 and 8. But we've got 8 blocking across here, so we'll fill in the 8 in this square and we know this is a 6 so 6 blocking across here up there across there means 6 is in one of these squares so this would be our 6 this would be our 9 <coughs> uh, last number to place here is 9 so that gives me a 9 in this square and a 9 in this square. We can delete these things we don't need. 9s are done. Right, so the missing numbers here are 5, 6, 7. Mm, not much help. Uh, oh, we've got the 7 across there. I didn't realize that. 7 up there. 1 there. Uh, or 1 up there. And the last number here is an 8. 8 blocking down here and down there gives me an 8 in that square. This is the only place for a 7 now. And a 4 must be in this square and this will be 5. <coughs> 5 blocking down puts 5 into this square. This is 2. Uh, so, okay. What's missing from here? Um, 1 and... Five, no help on one or five. Ah, oh, there's a digit missing here. That's going to be a five, actually, isn't it? So now there is help. So five blocking here. That will be the five. That will be the one. Uh, one across here and one down here gives us one in that square. Six in that square. <coughs> uh, missing numbers here and here are what two and four, I think. Okay, what's left here? Four, seven, and 
and and and what? Uh, two. Oh, okay. I see four blocking this square here. So that's our four, and that will be our seven. Here's the seven, and this is the two. Two blocking across here puts two in that square. Uh, our eight means that this is a four. Eight goes here. <coughs> Last number to place up here is six, I think. Okay, and then here we're just looking for five. And this will be a four. And that's it. Uh, not very difficult. And I know the notation free players found those pairs. Um, certainly, and if I was feeling rather less tired, I might have found them too, but I didn't. I use pencil marks and that's how I got through the game, but it's nice and easy with pencil marks, which is uh, what I need. Okay, see you around.